Hey there, tech-savvy friends. Today, we're diving deep into a super important topic, cryptocurrency safety. In the digital world, cryptocurrencies are basically the equivalent of treasure. And just like you wouldn't leave your wallet lying around in a public place, you've got to safeguard your digital wallet. Now, let's get real. Cryptocurrency is a game changer. It's transforming everything from the way we shop to how we access information. But with great power comes great responsibility. We're focusing on the self-custody aspect of cryptocurrencies today. This means managing your own private keys rather than giving them to a third party or centralized exchange. It's all about embracing the principles of decentralization and financial sovereignty. Private keys are basically the digital equivalent of your signature. Without your signature, no transactions can be made from your bank account, right? Similarly, without your private key, you can't access or manage your cryptocurrencies. Unfortunately, the digital world is filled with threats like hacking, phishing attacks, and unauthorized access. Centralized exchanges may seem user-friendly and convenient, but they are prime targets for hackers. Stick with me, and by the end of this, you'll be equipped with the knowledge and tools to ensure your digital treasure remains secure, and most importantly, yours. All right, let's talk about self-custody. What is it? Simply put, it's the practice of managing your own private keys rather than giving them to someone else or a centralized exchange. Remember, with great power comes great. You know the rest. If your funds are in your own wallet and not at the bank, it means the bank can't get hacked, but you can. Just like if your physical wallet gets snatched from your pocket, it's on you. Now, what are private keys? They are unique cryptographic keys required to access and manage your cryptocurrency holdings. Think of it as the digital equivalent of your house key. Private keys can be represented in different forms, like a series of 12 or 24 random words, a string of numbers and letters, or a QR code. Losing your private keys is like losing a wallet full of cash and cards, but without a bank to call to have your cards canceled or recover your lost funds. If you lose your private keys, you lose access to your funds permanently, so you are on your own in that regard. So, store your private keys or mnemonic phrases safely. Do not store them online or on any device connected to the internet. Write them down on paper and store them in a secure location. And please do not keep funds on centralized exchanges for extended periods. They are convenient for trading, but they expose your funds to significant risks. Instead, transfer your funds to a secure wallet where you control the private keys. This way, you retain full control and responsibility for your funds, just as the cryptocurrency gods intended. Now let's dive into understanding the risks associated with cryptocurrency. First up, hacking and unauthorized access. As the value of cryptocurrencies has skyrocketed, so has the interest of hackers and cyber criminals. They use tactics like malware, key logging, and social engineering to gain unauthorized access to your accounts to steal your funds. So, regularly update your software and devices, use strong passwords and two-factor authentication, and be cautious when clicking on links or downloading attachments from unknown sources. Next, phishing attacks. This is when fraudsters impersonate a trustworthy entity to deceive you into revealing sensitive information. And guess what? At MetFi, fraudsters regularly impersonate our official staff on Telegram, Discord, and other social media platforms and ask for your private keys. Remember, the official staff at MetFi will never reach out to you directly unless you contact them first. And the only way to get support is through opening up a support ticket in Discord. Never trust anyone who sends you a personal message. Now, loss of access keys. Losing access to your private keys is losing access to your funds. There's no way to recover lost private keys in the world of cryptocurrency. So, have multiple backups of your private keys or mnemonic phrases stored in secure and separate locations. And have a contingency plan in place, like sharing a copy of your keys with a trusted family member or using a multi-signature wallet. Lastly, exchange failures. Centralized exchanges are prone to technical and financial failures. There have been cases where exchanges have gone bankrupt or have been shut down by regulatory authorities, leading to the permanent loss of funds for users. So, only use centralized exchanges for trading and when you're done trading, transfer your funds to a secure wallet where you control the private keys as soon as possible. By doing so, you retain full control and responsibility for your funds and mitigate the risk associated with exchange failures. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay safe out there.
Let's now talk about securing your wallet. There are different types of cryptocurrency wallets, each with its own set of security features and trade-offs. First, hardware wallets. These are physical devices that store your private keys offline, making them immune to online hacking attempts. However, they can be expensive and there is a risk of losing access to your funds if you lose the device and do not have a backup. Next, software wallets. These are applications that you can install on your computer or mobile device. They are convenient and user-friendly, but are susceptible to hacking, malware, and device failures. Lastly, paper wallets. These are physical pieces of paper that contain your private keys or QR code, representing your keys. They are immune to online hacking attempts, but can be lost, damaged, or stolen physically. Now, let's understand the difference between hot wallets and cold wallets. Hot wallets are connected to the internet like software wallets on your mobile device or computer. They are convenient for daily transactions, but are more susceptible to hacking and unauthorized access. Cold wallets, on the other hand, are not connected to the internet, like hardware or paper wallets. They are more secure as they are immune to online hacking attempts, but are less convenient for daily transactions. It is recommended to use a combination of both hot and cold wallets. Store the majority of your funds in a cold wallet for long-term storage and a smaller amount in a hot wallet for daily transactions and trading. This way, you can balance convenience and security. Now, let's talk about using strong passwords and two-factor authentication or 2FA. Using unique and strong passwords is crucial for safeguarding your digital assets. A strong password is one that is long and combines uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Avoid using easily guessable information such as your name, birth date, or common words. Also, it is advisable not to use the same password for multiple accounts. Two-factor authentication, or 2FA for short, adds an extra layer of security by requiring two forms of verification before allowing access to your account. This usually involves something you know, like your password and something you have, like your mobile device. To set up 2FA, you typically need to install an Authenticator app on your mobile device, such as Google Authenticator. Then, link your wallet or exchange account to the app by scanning a QR code or entering a key. Once set up, you will need to enter a code generated by the app every time you log into your account. Remember, not all wallets support 2FA. Be sure to check the features of your wallet and enable 2FA if it is available. By following these best practices, you can improve the safety and security of your digital assets. Phishing attempts are becoming increasingly sophisticated and can often appear very convincing. It's important to be vigilant and cautious of any communication requesting sensitive information. How to recognize phishing attempts. First up, unexpected requests. Be wary of unsolicited requests for sensitive information such as private keys, passwords, or personal details. Next is misspelled URL. Check the URL carefully to ensure is the official site and not a misspelled version designed to trick you. Next, generic greetings. Phishing emails often use generic greetings like dear user instead of your name. Then, urgency. Fraudsters often create a sense of urgency such as warning that your account will be closed unless you take immediate action. Last one, suspicious attachments or links. Be cautious of emails with attachments or links, especially if you did not expect to receive them. What to do if you suspect a phishing attempt? Firstly, do not respond. Do not provide any information or click on any links or attachments. Verify. If the communication appears to be from a legitimate organization, contact them directly using their official website or phone number to verify the request. With MetFide, you can join our official Telegram or Discord chat and ask questions, but be wary not to respond to anyone sending you a personal message directly afterward. The official links are in the description below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe. Next, report the phishing attempt to the Anti-Phishing Working Group APWG. Also, immediately report it in our social media groups. Secure your accounts. If you believe you may have fallen victim to a phishing attack, immediately change your passwords and enable 2FA on all your accounts. Remember, legitimate organizations will never ask for your private keys or passwords via email, phone, or text message. Always be cautious and double-check the authenticity of any communication requesting sensitive information.
By being vigilant and taking proactive measures, you can protect yourself from falling victim to phishing attempts. Keep software devices updated. Keeping your devices and software updated is crucial for maintaining the security of your digital assets. Software updates often include patches for known vulnerabilities that hackers can exploit to gain unauthorized access to your device and subsequently, your cryptocurrency wallet. How to regularly update your devices and software Enable automatic updates Most operating systems and software applications offer the option to enable automatic updates. Make sure this feature is turned on. Regularly check for updates Even with automatic updates enabled, it's a good practice to manually check for updates regularly, as some updates may require manual installation. Use official sources. Always download updates from official sources or trusted app stores to avoid installing malicious software. By keeping your devices and software updated, you reduce the risk of becoming a victim of hacking and unauthorized access. Remember, the security of your digital assets is in your hands. Regularly back up your wallet and keys. Having a backup of your wallet and keys is essential to ensure you do not lose access to your funds in case of device failure, theft, or other unforeseen circumstances. How to back up your wallet and keys. Backup mnemonic phrase. Most modern cryptocurrency wallets generate a mnemonic phrase, a series of 12 or 24 words, which is essentially a human readable version of your private key. Write down this phrase and store it in a safe and secure location. Backup private keys. If your wallet does not use a mnemonic phrase, you will need to backup your private keys. These keys should be stored in a secure location separate from your wallet. Use multiple formats. Consider having backups in multiple formats, such as paper, USB drive, or encrypted cloud storage. This way, if one backup fails or gets damaged, you have others to fall back on. Store backups in different locations. Do not store all your backups in one place. For example, have one backup at home, another in a bank safety deposit box, and another in a secure online location. Importance of having multiple backups. Redundancy. Having multiple backups ensures that if one backup fails or gets lost, you have others to fall back on. Security. Storing backups in different locations reduces the risk of all your backups being compromised at once. For example, if your home gets burgled and your backup is stolen, you will still have access to your funds via the backup stored in your bank safety deposit box or secure online location. Remember, your private keys or mnemonic phrase are the only way to access your funds. If you lose them, there is no way to recover your funds. Therefore, it is of utmost importance to have multiple backups stored in secure and separate locations. Regularly check and update your backups to ensure they are still accessible and functional. There's a lot more to backing up your private keys, so let us know in the comments if you would like me to do a deep dive into this important topic in another video. Be careful when using public Wi-Fi. Using public Wi-Fi networks, such as those in cafes, airports, or hotels, comes with several risks. For instance, man-in-the-middle attacks. Hackers can intercept the data transmitted between your device and the Wi-Fi router, gaining access to your sensitive information. Fake Wi-Fi networks. Cyber criminals can set up fake Wi-Fi networks that appear legitimate, but are designed to capture your data. Malware distribution. Hackers can use unsecured Wi-Fi networks to distribute malware to connected devices. How to protect yourself when using public Wi-Fi in four steps. Step one, use a VPN. A virtual private network, VPN, encrypts your internet connection, making it difficult for hackers to intercept your data. Step two, enable firewall. A firewall acts as a barrier between your device and the internet, blocking unauthorized access. Step three, use HTTPS. Always use websites that have HTTPS in the URL, as this indicates that the connection is encrypted. And step four, avoid accessing sensitive information. Avoid accessing your cryptocurrency wallet, bank accounts, or any other sensitive information while connected to public Wi-Fi. Remember, it's always better to be safe than sorry. Take the necessary precautions to protect your digital assets and personal information. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. We appreciate you taking the time to educate yourself on these important topics. Remember, 
All of this content is also accessible in a blog format. The link to our blog is in the description below along with all the official MetFi channels. So make sure to check them out for more valuable information. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot and ensures you won't miss out on any of our future content. And share this video if you want to help a friend or family member not to get hacked. Yikes. Now for a bit of humor. Why do Bitcoiners hate nature? Because it takes too long to calculate the root of all the trees in the forest. Alright, jokes aside. It's important to stay vigilant and proactive in securing your digital assets. The crypto world is exciting, but it also comes with its fair share of risks. Remember to stay safe out there and join us next Tuesday for another educational video. We'll be diving into another important topic that you won't want to miss. Take care and see you next time.